Yeah, good day, everyone. Um, today I want to quickly bring to notice what our cash on time. Equity looked at the intent rather than the form. Now, what does this mean? On this video, before we dive into this discussion properly, I want to quickly remind you, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as well share this video and also like can as well drop your comments at the comment section now um equity look at the intent rather than the form what does this mean in the court of equity um equity make distinction between you know um matters of form and matters of uh, equity make decision between matters of substance and matters of form. Now, what does this mean is that, I see, equity look at the substance of a case rather than the form of it. So, it's, equity will arrive at where there is you no know, a substance of a case, and um, that such time is very obvious, you know, and um, it will arrive at that point of giving judgment rather than looking at the form of the case. You see, it is very, very important at this juncture that uh, we need to be aware that where there is no equity on anything, on any matter, it is, uh, you know, a kind of uh, a tutored uh, derogations and aberrations. So it is very, very important that we, the, we get the awareness that uh, all the things we are doing, we need to make you know to be aware that uh, equity equity has to take thing as as has to take its due course. Our actions have to be equitable. Our our dealing with people has to be equitable. For instance, like I just let me just cite the case of a contract, for instance, or a mortgage. You see, for the fact that there was the, um, there is a mortgage and the time of the mortgage elapses. Yes, you have a ground of claiming, but. What the equity will look at it will look at the substance. You know, the, the in the in the in the court of uh, in the court of the common law, they look at technicality, but that is not the issue with equity. Equity will look at what are the substance. For instance, a mortgage. For instance, you know, and the mortgage uh, expiration date have been expired. Of course, in the common law, they will give you a grant to make. Get hold of the mortgage property and claim it. But equity would not look at it. Equity will not see it as being equitable. Equity will still give you, you know, a time. Equity will create time, a reasonable time, where the person needs to come and redeem the property. In a situation where the person cannot, or where we are unable to redeem the property, even at the reasonable time being added, the person can take claim the property. But whereby the 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 time the both party fix for is their self elapses, the other party do not have a grant to claim the property. So equity will have to come in, you know, to to see that uh, 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 you know um, judgments will not go without fulfilling its equitable cause. So it is very very important. Now I say equity look at the substance of a case rather than the form of a case. If you see, we are having a case it's at hand in our nations today, Nigeria. Uh, they just concluded elections, have been full of several you know, reactions. You know, uh, there are these, these uh, damn Trump that have been thrown here and there. A lot of uh, you know, protests is going on. In the land, and so many people feel you no know, grievance and all that. Now, and from what we have been able to gather, you know, the cases before the court and the both party involved, their counsel have filed cases, and there is a lot of uh, you know issues that have been raised. Now, uh, we also observe that there were a lot of irregularities. Now, in the court of equity, in the court of equity, equity will take a due course concerning this matter. 
because the, 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 the just concluded elections, it did not really capture the, the real intent of the people. It did not really capture the real mind, what the people you know they were expecting concerning this case. And also, according to the law, the law has been stated that uh, the electoral act, you know, as amended, has been made provision, has made provision that for a person to be declared a winner of election of a president, for the person to be declared prisoner, a, win a winner of election in the seat of the presidency, that the person has to win 25% of the state. And that from 25%, including federal capital territory. No, there is a going to be you no know, uh, judicial interpretations to this particular phrase. You know, uh, it appears that the people who, who make this law, maybe they deliberately allow such phrase to be in drift, uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, being uh, uh, drafted. Being part of, being uh, become a part of that particular act, and there is going to be a lot of interpretations, judicial interpretations. I don't know the, whether they are going to use purposive interpretations, or uh, uh, because there are a lot of interpretations that will be used, or uh, literal interpretation, whichever interpretation that will be used to define that particular uh, uh, clause in the art is. Uh, is something that equity will likely look at. And another thing is that, you know, the, the, the party, if you see that uh, in this case, the vice president elect have already picked form to run in the, uh, to the, uh, the National Assembly as uh, to become a Senate. And the electoral had made provision for anyone who have picked a form to run for social, social office. You know, if he's uh, aspiring to go to a bigger office, you have to resign. Now, all these are the, all these are the, you know, the reactions that are things that have been observed so far in this election, and also the letter, uh, the uh, president led. You know, um, there are a lot of issues as pertaining his um, his uh, primary. Certificate, secondary from uh, secondary school certificate, his tertiary school certificate. There are a lot of issues on ground. Where did you go to school? What was his life? Uh, his uh, antecedent? What, we, what kind of life he led in the society? So we also heard that he was a, a drug lord, you know. And all of these things are the issues that is on ground. And there are a lot of irregularities. So in all of these things. If yes, to happen to come before the court of equity, what would equity do? Would they take equity close its eyes and uh, and see that uh, justice has been, you know, uh, uh, justice become uh, 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 a Will he close his eyes? I think in the case of equity, such thing will not happen. So there is a need for equity to take a due course as long as this electoral. Uh, um, issues is concerned. So this is my own opinion concerning this matter, that equity will look at the substance of the case and not the form. So there is a need to keep off of technicality in this matter. Because I do observe that in our, the legal system, the Nigerian legal system, we, they are form of you no know, handling or looking into technicality in every matter. Even though it, this technicality will lead to you know, uh, you know, injustice, they don't mind. So on this note, I will call on the, uh, the, the, the Supreme Court that they should not look at technicality in this matter. They should look at what is equitable, and as long as this matter is concerned. And I cite this legal maxim, equity, look at the intent rather than the form. Let them use this maxim in this matter. Thank you as you listen. Once again, my name is Innocent Latin. Thank you as you listen to this video please uh, as you watch the video please do not forget to subscribe